The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, guys, welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 9.02 on my clock, and we're going to do another Elite Earners call, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we have a few of you in the room here. we got Vincent, Vicky, Robert, Paul, uh, Mary Jo. Um, if you guys can hear me okay, go ahead and um, say, just put a little note in the chat box so we can hear you loud and clear, Nate. Yes, Vincent, thanks. The reason I ask is sometimes I, I keep myself on mute, so I just want to make sure you all can hear me okay. And uh, Nancy, are you there too? Yes, I'm here. Welcome. So tonight, guys, we're going to um, speak with Nancy Showalter. Um, so let me get set up here, and we'll start in about 30 seconds. Give me one, one second. Okay, guys, I'm back and uh, welcome. So, yeah, so what we're going to do tonight is um, brought on a, a special guest. That's uh, Nancy Showalter. Um, Nancy is a platinum member. She's over in the United States. And what we're going to do moving forward, guys, as we talked about last week, I know a lot of you were here last week, we're going to each week, try to get on a new speaker, uh, make this very interactive. Um, I had a nice chat with Nancy last night with how we're going to um, kind of do this moving forward with, uh, and she said that uh, in the past we had done these elite earner, earners calls and it made it really valuable because we really got to get into the nuts and bolts and actually do some um, live training, actionable information, things like that. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll start out tonight and you know, we'll get a feel for what Nancy has done. Um, to date, you guys, Nancy has made uh, right around the $20,000 mark with MOBE. So we want to really, uh, you know, see what she's doing, um, get some ideas, see if we can implement those in our business. And then what we'll do is we'll have a little section for Q&A and we will um, answer any questions and we'll do kind of a round robin with, uh, with Nancy and myself to make sure that you guys have any maybe technical questions that we can answer or, or anything of that nature. So let's um, unmute you here, Nancy, and we'll get going. Okay, can you hear me, Nancy? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Guys, if you want to just uh, let us know in the, in the questions box, in the chat box there, that you can hear us both loud and clear. Just wait a sec for those responses. Thanks, Vicky. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks, Vincent. Okay, so we should be good here. Okay, so let's pull up. Uh... So again, tonight we're gonna we're gonna speak with Nancy Showalter. So so Nancy, now um, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with MOBE, uh, you know, your, your background, your history, things like that, and we'll kind of go from there, okay? Okay, sure. I've been in MOBE since the middle or like the third week of July last year, mm -hmm. so it's just been about six months or so. Okay. Um, prior to that, you can see my website. I'm a, a Law of Attraction Life Coach. Cool. Um, most of my life, I have worked well, not most, but a lot. Many years, I've worked for nonprofits, okay. and my my last, you know, years prior to um, actually, I'm from the United States, Nate, but mm -hmm. we're li I'm living in Ecuador, and that's oh. where I am right now. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> yeah, so we've been here about uh, almost eight years, and be in May, and but we travel a lot, and we're back in the states a lot, mm -hmm. and we still work with the nonprofit, and. Um, 
I traveled through South America for a number of years mm -hmm. doing uh, lectures and media and different things for the nonprofit. So that's how we kind of ended up deciding to come here. But my, my last employment was, my last job kind of thing, was um, I was a manager of an inbound call center in the Midwest of the United States. Okay. And <clears throat> it was a good job, but it wasn't, um, I didn't have my freedom. You don't have that unlimited you know, financial potential, earning potential. Mm -hmm. And I really, really wanted time freedom, very right. much so. And so um, when I got, then I, you know, I had been doing in the spiritual niche and personal development niche for many years. And so I, you know, got certified as a law of attraction life coach, which kind of fit right into what I had been doing all the years. And then I, um, you know, we, we did relocate into Ecuador. And from there, I was actually, I did a telesummit when I first um, did my uh, Law of Attraction thing where I interviewed 26 experts, you know, and, and it was a video telesummit. But then um, I wanted to build my list more. So I joined Build My List, <laughs> Jimmy Kim's program. And it's quite amazing how I got into Mo because his steps in his program of building your list, one of them is, well, you can join this program, MOB. It's, you know, it's awesome. You can have, you know, high ticket items you sell and you have a coach, etc. Mm -hmm. So I just signed up and I, I really didn't know too much about what, what I was getting into. Right. But I immediately, of course, was going through the 21 steps and I immediately could see the value and the potential in this program. And so I did decide I wasn't going to do any kind of marketing or anything. Uh, I mean, I did MLR first, and then I decided I'm not doing anything until I become platinum. Okay. So I arranged that and became platinum. And then the first things that I did, actually, were um, I was traveling at the time. Um, I, I purchased some customers, you know, from we, we sell good leads or we sell good customers or whatever, yeah. uh, which I don't think we're doing anymore, actually, Okay. Um, as far as I yeah. understand. Yeah, we're, we're on hold for a little bit, but that's something we'll, we'll come back to. So you bought yeah. some leads there. Okay. I did, yes, and I got, I got two uh, MLRs out of that, mm -hmm. and then I actually was going to my warm market okay. to people I knew as well as my list from the uh, coaching and such. Yep. And so I got I got a platinum right off the first month. Wow. And th that gave me so in the, within the first 4 weeks I'd actually earned $12,000. Yeah. Which was, you know, ki kind of amazing. It's not typical by any means. But in the meantime, I'm I've and I've, you know, went through, you know, I did some solo ads. I've been doing Facebook you know, I've tried a lot of different things, mm -hmm. and I have to admit, like everyone else, it's that shiny object syndrome where you kind of sure. you're trying a little bit of everything, and you know, and you're yeah. still you know, <laughs> learning, learning, learning. It's a big learning curve because I had never done internet marketing, right? You know, before right. the, the real, the real thing. Right. So, um, as a result, I just you know just kept working at it, and. Um, most, I mean, a lot of mine has come from my warm market. Right. And but then I also had, you know, I oh I pr uh, promoted the events, mm -hmm. the I am Freedom events. Right. And um, I've had uh, a couple of people. One is now Titanium, and I had another person who um, went to the Home Business Summit, but didn't do anything beyond that. But okay. it's just, you know, a little bit here and there, and so that's how I got started. That's awesome. That's a, yeah, that's, that's great stuff, Nancy. Um, and you know, for you guys listening, um, you can see how, and, and what, what we'll start to see is if you, you know, you tune in each week and then also with, you know, things like our MOBE inspiration calls that we do, there's, there's a lot of different ways people are finding success with MOBE. And, um, one of the things I want to kind of peel back the layers on that and, um, to make this, evident if, um, if, if you all miss that. But 
one of one of the themes you're going to start to see too with uh, people that are making in in the, in the five finger range figure range with mobile, which is definitely doable. I mean, you did it within literally about a month. Is you have to at some point really start treating this like a, a business, and you know you've done that. Now you came from a background where um, you know supporting yourself, running a business, so you kind of had that that mentality set up. Do you, you know how, how how do you how do you think that you know, plays into the, the mo business and how well or how important do you feel that that is? Well, obviously the mindset is extremely important. And, but I actually had to make a leap from, I mean, when I work for the nonprofits and such, mm-hmm. you practically earn nothing. Right. <laughs> and I, you know, and so, I, and especially in a spiritual niche where you're not supposed to be rich, right? You know, so. Right. Um, I had to make that shift, you know, in my own mind that, you know, hey, the abundant life is for all of us and that's what we're meant to have mm-hmm. and that means money, you know, money isn't the root of all evil necessarily, you know, so right. anyway, so I had to go through that. So the mind shift is very important and it's important, of course, to shift from the employee mindset mm-hmm. to the business owner yeah. and I had to make that leap and I'm still probably, you know, making that leap. Yep. Sure. of understanding that you know you don't do everything yourself although yeah. I will admit I've been doing everything myself pretty much right. you know a few things I, I, I give out but um, primarily too I when I when I did the telesummit and I, I had enrolled in a program that was going you know was helping and coaching me and there was a team and they did my website they did this they did that they set up everything and then when I was done with that, mm-hmm. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. Right. And I didn't like that. I mean, okay. I've, don't get me wrong, I've done, you know, the, the cut and paste websites before, but I didn't understand the programs that I, m- my business was using. Right. <laughs> and so I really wanted to, you know, I, I had to jump in and learn all that because I, I, I just decided I did not want to be again in that position where, uh, a team does something for me, but I don't know how to do it, you know. Right. And not that, but now, I mean, I'm learning new things, and yes, I'm very happy to turn it over with, to a team when the time comes, you know. Yeah, that's a <laughs> very much. That's a big, a big step for a lot of people to take, and I'm, I'm on that same boat. I, I, I made the realization about, uh, man, only probably about a month or a, a year ago, maybe two years that, um, man, I'm, I'm a control freak. And I know a lot of business people are, you know, it's, it's our mindset. We've done a lot of people who get involved in business have done well in other areas and then they want to, you know, make their own income. So they start, yeah, I'm going to do this and do that. And then before you know what, they're trying to do everything and, and doing nothing at the same time. So that's a huge, huge, you know, um, lesson that can be learned for people. Um, you know, one of the things you'll see, um, you know, the longer you work with Mobis, how, how well of, of a delegator that, that Matt Lloyd is. And, you know, that's something that I think can be learned from all of us. You don't have to do everything. Um, you know, you can get a team around you. So, yeah, you know, and focus on those things that, that's going to build your business. So that, that's good stuff. There. So, right, um, right. So, yeah, you can and, see how you know, <laughs> we're all going through the same thing, and, and it, but, but still growing and having success. And I think that that's the key. Right. Yeah, it is it is a challenge and it's a huge learning curve and and the technology even I'm not totally tech, ne- technically illiterate right. but some of the technology can be very frustrating. Absolutely. And you know, so you need help and such. So, mm-hmm. I mean, when I was uh, I went to the Titanium Mastermind in Phuket mm-hmm. and I also attended prior to that the um Leverage Summit. Okay. Which I would highly highly recommend. Uh, to anybody, to any time there's that event prior to an event, it, you know, especially because that was free to to Platinums, um, right. it was very very valuable, and also it was a smaller group than the Titanium Mastermind, so you had an opportunity to really get to know the speakers and the people, and yep. you know, we it was a very intimate type setting, and then and the the knowledge was amazing, and Matt taught a lot. Mm-hmm. And of course, he talked about leveraging just what we were just talking about, right? And you know, getting getting help and mm-hmm. and such. And uh, and you know, and I'm certainly not against that. And uh, yeah. I have gotten some. I mean, I've gone out, you know, but yeah. I don't have anyone steady. Right. 
and, and that's fine too. I think that's kind of the, um, the growth, you know, they say, you know, an excuse I hear a lot or, or, or not an excuse, but just, they haven't learned that lesson yet as well. I can't really afford to hire anybody. I can't afford uh, an employee. And as soon as you can pay someone about 20 bucks a week, I think it's, it's worth it to start doing it. And for anything else is to go through that process. So, um, there's lots of different websites out there where you can hire, you know, hire, um, anybody to do your tech stuff, to do your accounting, to do your, um, you know, your blog set up, your Aweber set up, um, running a squeeze page. Um, guys, I was just a, just a quick story. Nancy, you can probably attest to this from all the events you've gone to is I went to an, uh, um, it was my, actually my first home business summit. And, um, for those of you who haven't been, uh, one of the lecturers is, uh, name is Dr. Don and Dr. Don, uh, you know, it was just a, a huge eye-opening, awakening experience for me because he says, you know, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I have no tech background, but you know what? I know how to pick up the phone and I know how to get online and I know how to hire somebody to do it for pennies on the dollar. Um, there's sites out there called Fiverr, you know, there's Odesk or whatever that one's called now. And you can really get a mm -hmm. lot of, if, if you can say like, um, for instance, we have Nancy's website pulled up here. And let's say I'm in the uh, the consulting and the spiritual niche and, and I come across this and I'm like, hey, I like that. I would like to do something similar. Get on Fiverr, you know, uh, get on these these uh, recruitment sites, hire somebody to do it for literally pennies on the dollar because we don't have the time to be doing that. We need to be focused on growing the business. Uh, <laughs> so would you agree on that, right. Nancy? Absolutely. My, what you're looking at, my header there was done by Fiverr. Yep. My logo, my name was done at Fiverr. Excellent. And yeah, and I did go to o Odesk, which I think it's called something else now. Yeah. But they um, names, right. and I can't think of the name of it. But uh, I did go and look for um, some uh, administrative type, you know, assistant type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't I haven't hired anyone at this point, but. Um, I, it, it's it is difficult because I you know I'm good administratively yeah. and um, <laughs> so you know and and I I'll be honest with you at first I was like I have more time than money <laughs> I know that's not a good good way to look at it but well, yeah you know, we can spend the time in, in your business then and that, that's fine too and and that's what it comes down to we either yeah. have one or the other right so um, right right. And I, I was I was in the same boat. So um, for you know for Mary Mary Jo Vicky um, Vincent uh, you guys too, um, yeah you know if we get to the point where you're you're deciding on do I invest more money in my business to get stuff done uh, quicker uh, to expedite things or can I spend a little bit of you know um, feet on the feet on the ground kind of going through and learning the process and yeah there's a fine line there especially when we get going. Um, yeah, we would all love to dump thousands of dollars in traffic and everything prepaid and set up for us. And that works for some people, but it doesn't work for everybody. So, you know, you've got to kind of find that balance realistically. Um, you know, and I think Nancy, you're, you're right. a perfect example of that. So now with all these, um, you, I want to go back. You, you mentioned the, the leverage summit. So guys, those of you who haven't been to a mastermind or maybe you have, you know that on the front end, we do these uh, supplemental summits. Now, when you first sign up to titanium, platinum, or diamond, you get those included. So you just have to show up. Um, and, and the only the only caveat is we you just pay for your hotel room for those uh, first few nights um, as a kind of a bumper on the front end of our mastermind program. So yeah, so you went you went to the leverage summit. So again, if anybody who hasn't been to titanium, titanium is where you're learning the kind of the nuts and the bolts of online in, in business growth. So a lot of times I've heard um, people say, well, yeah, I, you know, I jumped right up to diamond, which, which is fine. And that's, that's a great way to, to increase your earnings right away. But sometimes you need to, to, to segment the education. Okay. So, you know, you got your leverage summit, your traffic summit. And um, so check uh, the schedule um, when you're browsing at mob.com and um, also mobaffiliatesupport.com. And I'll put those in the chat box for you guys so you can learn more about those summits and um, how those will help. So if you're good, you know, what I always say is you're already investing in the trip um, as, as a business investment for yourself. So you might as well, you know, try to get as much of it as you can um, and enjoy the, usually the nice climate that comes along with it too. So, <laughs> right. 
So now what, yeah, what I, I, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was going to say now, what, what have you learned since, you know, getting involved with MOBE in particular, you know, going to these events, what are, what are some things that, uh, that you've learned that you've able to implement that you think, um, attributed to your, to your success, especially at such a rapid rate? Well, I, I, I can't highly recommend the events uh, enough. Yeah. I mean, seriously, everybody says that, and it sounds a little bit trite after a while, but <laughs> it, it makes a huge, huge difference. And there's, there are many aspects to why it makes a difference. One aspect is you get to meet Matt, you get to meet all the leaders, you get to meet other people, and they're very, very normal, uh, quality people. And I mean, I was very, my husband and I both were very impressed. Mm -hmm. And um, and that makes a big difference. It's not like some big company and some voice on the webinar, you know, anymore. You actually get to meet people. And uh, the other thing I was incredibly impressed with is all the speakers, all the people there, they're more than happy to literally, it is a mastermind, to share their ideas, how they're doing things, coach and help you. And I mean, it really is uh, a great, great support. And they're willing to sit down and talk to you, you know, just about anything when you need, if you, you know, request it. Yeah. So it was really wonderful in that regard. And, you know, there's just a, a, all kinds of things that you learn. And, and a lot of it is, again, the another aspect is shifting your mindset again mm -hmm. to where you really start to think much bigger mm -hmm. and you start to see you know a bigger picture for yourself yeah. and it just expand your horizons and then you learn practical things that you right. can do you know like one thing Matt had us do was uh, in one session he said okay he talked about doing a webinar and gave us like a little matrix of how you do that and then he said now I want you to go tonight and you advertise either to your list or on Facebook or whatever, and I don't care if anyone shows up or not, and do a webinar <laughs> and sell MLR. Yeah. <laughs> and so that was a real challenge. And of course, not everybody did it, but I did do it. But it was a challenge because I had my, um, I didn't have my big computer with me, and I just had my uh, tablet that is like a computer. Mm -hmm. But I could not do go to webinar with it. It wouldn't work at the last, you know. And I did. I sent out an email and everything, you know. And I'm, you know. And then so there, I'm going to do it, and I'm like, this is crazy. I can't even get on here. So I had to go down to the hotel and say, okay, do you have a computer room? And they said, oh yeah, it's closed because <laughs> this is like 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, right? Yeah, you and I, and, <laughs> yeah, but they actually opened it for me, and I go in there. And I, I do this crazy webinar, and I mean, I, I told Matt later, I said, I, I thank God no one listened, because, I mean, it was so poor. <laughs> Technically, I, you know, the first part, of the, the microphone wasn't working right. right. But you know what? I did it, and it was a really good start, because, you know, um, then you... Uh, Give you the confidence. And then you can just open, develop it yeah. from there. Right. You yeah. develop it from there. So, yep. it, like, you know, he believes in just jumping in and doing things. And that's, that's exactly kind of right. what we were doing. And and then he had, he said, okay, I'm going to get the top three. And I'm, you know, going to see who the winner is. Right. He had a little contest going. Mm -hmm. So, I wasn't in the top three. But then uh, when we had one of the evening events, you know, one of the dinners and things, Mm -hmm. I was talking with him, and he said, "Oh, you're you're the one who did." He said, "They sent me five of the webinars, and yours was one of them." And I picked out of three out of there, and I said, "Oh, it was so terrible." And he says, "No, no, it wasn't." Yeah. <laughs> and so, so that was cool. That yeah, was we, really cool. We yeah. tend to put uh, we're, we're our our own harshest critic or our own you know worst critic, or however you want to say that. So, right, and that right. And, and there's a guys. There's another lesson here. It's you know it doesn't always have to be perfect. Just do it. As as you guys know, Matt says uh, you know poverty equals uh, what? Um, or I'm sorry, perfection equals poverty. So you know a lot <laughs> right. of this stuff. Just do it. Um, I Nancy, what we talked about last week a little bit was 
to be the an authority or to be an expert, you only have to be one page ahead in the book of somebody that um, you know that that's trying to learn as exactly. Well. So yeah, yes. there's there's so much to be said at that. So that's awesome. You jumped right in and did your webinar and. Yeah, and what it does, and I'm I'm going through this myself too, is it just really opens up the the doors of opportunity of what's really out there and what you really can do, and how we place these limits and these restrictions around ourselves, saying, you know, I can't do this. I have all these set of excuses. But I tell you what, um, you spend ten minutes with with Matt, and all that goes away really quick because it's, it's <laughs> like wow, anything is possible. So, you know, that's what it's all about. And then. Um, that yeah, that's 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 really enlightening and positive for for me to hear as well. So it's always good to hear those stories. So yeah, guys, um, you know if you haven't been already, make sure you get to an event. We do, um, you know, obviously our mastermind events are our, our key keynote events, and then we also have the supercharge event. So yeah, do what you can to get to those. You know, I realize everyone's in a different situation, but um, the it's it's worth the event, the investment to um, to just surround yourself with those people. Um, get them in your uh, on, on your phone, your speed dial, get them on your Skype chats, um, be able to reach out, connect with the people on Facebook and all of our groups. And um, it's all about community. And you guys have heard this cliche, you know, it's all your success is going to be determined by the five people that you surround yourself with and who you spend the most time with. So, you know, do what you can to get in the, the, the graces of, of people that are going to make you successful. Um, so that's, that's awesome. Now, um, you know, kind of touching back then on, what you've learned and, and, and things like that. What if, if you were to do things differently, looking back, even since, uh, let's say, no, or, uh, about a, you said about a year since you've been in mobile, what would you do differently now that you in know? About what you six know? months. Okay. Um, now that I know what I know, I would, have, I would do things differently. <laughs> For sure. Um, right now, I am, I am in um, one of, uh, I, I, I purchased a done for you funnel system from Shaq, Shakir okay. Hussein, mm -hmm. and uh, that's being developed now. I develop your own, they develop my own product, you know, uh, a webinar, you know, all these different co components. Mm -hmm. Now, and I also am doing uh, Saj P's um, course. I signed up, you know, he did the yep. webinar stuff a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And that is an amazing, amazing course. He is an amazing, amazing teacher, and it is truly the nuts and bolts, not just the nuts and bolts, but it's the overview, it's the understanding of an entire business matrix. I would highly, highly recommend it. And now, go, going back to answer your question, when I started, you know, I purchased the customers, I, I did uh, solo ads, because that's what the traffic coach says, okay, let's start with solo ads, Okay. and gave me some names of you know different vendors and so mm -hmm. I purchased you know uh, 300 or 500 you know from two or three different places I, I, I spent almost a thousand dollars and um, in re retrospect I would not have done that because I got nothing really from it um, I mean I got some lead I mean I got opt-ins and at that point I was just opting into the mob list you know the mob uh, funnel mm -hmm. and uh, but no sales and I realized but you know once again it's like take action and so I did but you know I just didn't I, I mean that's just the way it was I did it and I, I don't regret it per se but I, I would do that I mean you know so much more after a while you know mm -hmm. if I were to do it over I would have gotten into a program like I am with Saj okay. I'd have gotten a coach that I could actually um, you know that you're learning step by step from, yeah, and um, that is what I think I would have done differently. Now, and um, uh, real quick to interject in that. Now, you know, one thing um, that maybe somebody getting new is thinking, well, yeah, you know, I've, maybe I invested all this money in, let's say, titanium, or I invested all this money in platinum, or even MLR might be, you know, a large investment for some people. So, what would what mm -hmm. would you say to that then, when they're maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the investment and um, you know how much money do I need to spend to get this thing rolling? Kind of what's your what's your thought on that? Kind of having gone through a few different businesses and with your background. Well, it's um, it, 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 yeah, you know, there's that saying, 
when you don't have resources, you need to be resourceful. Yeah. And you need to, you know, you need to come up with whatever you're feeling. I mean, I think you have to be wise right. in what you choose Correct. and do. And partially, I mean, I was blessed in that, you know, I got a platinum right away, so it gave me some cash right. to be able to invest, you know, mm -hmm. in different things. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm like everybody else. I had to finance my platinum. I didn't have cash in the bank, yeah. <laughs> you know, right. not everybody else, but I mean, a lot yeah. of people. For sure. You know? And, you know, so it, it's, um, I, I think you just have to really decide and if you can't I mean what I recommend now like I have one titanium and I'm saying you know stay at titanium if that's all you can do and if you have you know rather than push to go to platinum and spend some of that money on some training uh, on some right. coaching you know yeah, like a program or something yeah, yeah, that can yeah actually launch you and then yeah so you may miss some you know people that come up the line and go past you but you only can do what you can do and so I think everybody has to evaluate their situation look at their situation and even if you're MLR there's a lot of people from what I understand I don't know them personally but from what I understand there are MLRs in Mo that are making a lot of money oh absolutely just doing MLR yeah so it it, it should not be a limitation it, you know because if you if you go forward and you you um, you know, apply and take action and, and learn and yes, make mistakes, it's for sure and you know, whatever, then you will get the income coming in and then you can go to the next step when you're ready. Wow, that's awesome. Hey guys uh, out there listening, if um yeah, I'm I'm taking a ton of notes over here. This is this is awesome just to, you know, pick someone's brain who's who's done it. Um if you guys can uh you know, let me know if this is some good stuff. Throw that in the chat box. So Nancy's, uh, you know, laying it out there for us, um, showing that, hey, everybody can do this. Um, it's it's not a secret. You just got to kind of get your goals and your plan together. And, um, yeah, I do want to touch back on that, too, that you, you made an interesting point there just to highlight that. With um, So, yeah, I think the key is identifying what your strengths and your weaknesses are and knowing where to best um spend your time and your and your energy and your investment and your resources. Is that kind of what you were thinking or what you're saying? Yes, exactly. I mean, you know, we are all in different situations and um, of course I'm, you know, very much into uh, attunement with your higher self. I meditate, yeah. you know, other things. So, and then you know, you know, and you can get a direction uh, mm -hmm. or feel, you know, what is the right thing for you to do and when is it not. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I can admit I've bought some things. I mean, it's very easy to nickel and dime yourself in this. I'm, and maybe most right. of the people have found that, you know, we're, oh, that software and it's, oh, it's only $49. Oh, that's only, you know, yeah. and pretty soon you find yourself with all this stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and so you do have to be careful of the shiny syndrome. So yeah. I'm, my whole thing now is I am focused and I'm, I'm really going to be working primarily with Facebook and you know Matt really mm -hmm. recommends after you've touched around and looked at things choose one and Stick master it. it yeah and that, that's key. Yeah. yeah you don't want to you don't want to be a you know jack of all trades master of none as they say um, yeah focus mm -hmm. on one traffic you know when you're going through traffic masters Academy let's say guys um, get in there see which one um, translate the best or with your skills and what you think you can do. Or again, if you think you can hire somebody to do it cheaply, um, like for instance, there, uh, Larry is uh, out of Denver, Colorado, which is where I was coming from, um, does a whole module on direct mail. You know, direct mail is something that's maybe underutilized now. Um, if you guys know Rhonda Michelle, she's probably the fastest moving fastest moving affiliate right now. She um, was in the top 10 in December. She's made over 500 some thousand to date. Um, she had her first like big successful campaign with direct mail. So, you know, and she thought, Hey, this is going to be a good opportunity for me. So, you know, have a plan, um, put that together and, and, and kind of see it through uh, with regard to um, um, wanted to take a step back here and look at some of these questions real quick. But um, yeah, Mary Jo is saying, I love your frankness and, and honesty. Um, um, yeah, Mary Jo as, as a platinum, you know, you really resonate with me. Yeah. And again, guys, don't be, don't be um, 
don't feel bad that you invested at the level where you're at because it's going to come back, um, you know, much quicker when you finally do get those sales. But now what, what we're saying is now let's go back and um, let's get back to basics, um, put a plan together and, and start getting uh, take with your investing. Let's make sure it's um, bringing you towards the actual action steps. OK, so that's kind of where people, I think, miss the boat a little bit. So. Um, V, to answer your question real quick so everyone can hear, yes, um, everything today is being recorded. We will have this in the back office in due time. And then also, if you guys, um, I'll have an MP4 I can probably share with you. So just um, send me an email. I will um, put my email up at the end of the call. So, yeah, so really good stuff. Um, so you now you had mentioned that, um, you know, kind of, the, Nancy, the thing that you were missing was, you, you, you felt you had these business skills, this background of knowledge, and now you just needed a, a few steps. So in your in your case, and, and again, everyone's different, but in your case, you found two courses that resonated with you and, and, and said, yes, this is what I was missing. So you were able to implement those with, uh, and you said, maybe one or two of our webinar courses, right? Well, one is, one's a webinar course. The other one was um, just done for you you know, okay. with, with Shaq's team. But one other thing that I would like to say, and, and, yeah. and the diamonds all know this, of course, because that comes with being a diamond, but right. anyone who's not a diamond, one of the other things I would have done immediately mm -hmm. is started building my own list, not okay. just putting things into the MOBE funnel directly, Absolutely. but, you know, do a landing page, mm -hmm. build my own list, mm -hmm. and... Um, you know, and, and they say that all the top earners in MOVE, that's exactly mm -hmm. what they do. They yeah. brand themselves, mm -hmm. and but, but I also know they're top earners in MOVE, and I met them in, you know, Titanium, that are not branding themselves, that are not wanting to be out in front, mm -hmm. and there's some very creative ways, you mm -hmm. know, that they're earning money. It's amazing, right. and how they're working this business. Right. So, you know, you don't have to be you don't really have to brand yourself if you don't want to. Yeah. And But, you know, so there's ways to do it, but building your own list really is um, the foundation of eventually having a business. When you're online, that is your business, more or less. Exactly. <laughs> you know. That is your, your most valuable asset. Um, you know, when these million-dollar companies and billion-dollar companies buy each other off, what they're doing is they're buying um, the, the list mainly, of, of their of their clients and their monthly or yearly paying customers or whatever and then their system so it's plug and play so mm -hmm. that's that's where the money comes in with investing absolutely so yeah that's good stuff and then um you know i know from from last week guys i know a few of you that's kind of where you're getting stuck how do how do you do that so um we went over aweber a little bit um i believe we did that um if not i apologize we'll, we can get into that um maybe a little bit today. Um, it's uh, about 40 after the hour, 20 till uh, 10 Eastern time. What I'd like to do then, guys, is um, let's just open up the, the, the chat box here for some questions. And then, um, you know, Nancy can give her take and I'll maybe add some information too if I think I can uh, help you guys. So, um, so yeah, go ahead and throw your questions in the chat box here and we'll, we'll kind of address some of this stuff. Okay. So Vincent V, Mary Jo, is that Wanpa? Am I saying that right? Um, if you guys want to throw your questions in the chat box, we'll see what we can do here to get those answered as best we can for you. Um, okay, who else we got on the call here? Paul, Brigitte, hope I'm saying that right, Brigitte. All right. Any questions you want to ask, guys? All right. So while we're waiting for that, Nancy, let's let's do this. Um, so if you, you know, going back to your suggestion, what are what are the steps that you would take to build your list, and how would you do it? And you can even go into well, if I had didn't have this knowledge or I had this uh, um, thing that was holding me back or holding me up, how would I, how would I, how would I overcome that? If you could address that. Um, what, um, I, you know, just to bring up, Mobe now has its own little 
funnel yeah. system. I guess yeah. that's live now. Yeah. I'm not using that be because it just came out, and I'm right. I'm basically using lead pages. Okay. And to create landing pages. Okay. Um, which is pretty, you know, not that hard. Lead okay. pages is pretty easy to catch on to. Okay. But I I, I did look at the Mo new one, and mm -hmm. it I I looked through it, and it it looks pretty awesome actually. And then there's also ClickFunnels, which I'm just starting with them mm -hmm. because ClickFunnels is a pretty complete system. It's pretty awesome. It's a little more expensive, so that's why I haven't mm -hmm. jumped into it too soon. But right. and then I I use um, I have been using GetResponse yep. for you know. So you basically need some uh, auto you know email autoresponder software. And you need um, some place to build your your landing pages. Okay. And you know to to go in to to create a little funnel for yourself, and that's what Mob now is providing for us, which is really wonderful. Yeah. So anybody who's not experienced with that, I I know there's training, and I know Nate, you do a lot of the training videos, mm -hmm. and um, and you know, and you can play with that without having to worry about adding another expense. Yeah, and that's and, a good um, point. Um, so yeah, for those of you, what Nancy's talking about is Mob sites. And, and here's the thing, yeah, it's 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 in, if you're a pay, monthly paid affiliate, um, that's included. And yeah, just get in there and start playing around with it. Everything that I've learned, and I know you're probably in the same boat, Nancy, you said with lead pages or click funnels, you know, I've, I've just spent time getting my hands dirty. Um, so if you have that resource time, um, or you know, do what you can to make the time and just get in there and start playing around with it. Um, that's the biggest, you know, thing that that's helped me. But yeah, you can set up a, a landing page. It took me about two to three minutes, you know. And then if you want to change the text, obviously, you know, spend a little bit more time to really make the the message compelling. Um, get your autoresponder, so that would be your Aweber, GetResponse, uh, Mailchimp, uh, companies like that, so that you can capture those emails and then. Um, so what you're doing then is um, you're going to capture those names in, in your autoresponder and then you're going to do whatever you can really at the end of the day to start building that relationship, whether you want to talk to them on the phone, whether you don't, whether you think that you can build that relationship through really uh, uh, valuable email um, training, anything like that. Do whatever you can to build that relationship because then they're going to trust you and then they're going to buy. That's, that's all we're doing. You know, when you think about it at its simplest level, that's all we're doing. And that's all the top affiliates are doing: building a relationship, finding a need, offering a product that's going to help. Okay. So, got a question here from Wampa. Um, you mentioned that you would get coaching right away if you were to start again. What should I be looking for of a coach and the content the coach teaches? Thanks. Well, what I would recommend is something that is extremely. Um, hands-on detail uh, to walk you through. Uh, and the only thing I, I mean, the one I found was Saj's, right. Saj P, right. um, that program to be exactly like that. Now you can go and do a done-for-you system, and I'm working with that right now, mm -hmm. but to be honest, you know, I review the stuff and I change things because, right. you know, it's got to be in my voice and it's got to be, you know, yeah. But um, so anyway, that that's what I'd recommend. Uh, so I mean, I've done a lot of different kind of trainings with my you know coaching business and such, where it's not just motivational. I mean, it's talking about this, that, and the other thing. But it's a it's a training, you know. And when it's done, it's done. And um, it's not it's not so much the the nuts and bolts and walking you through and showing you on the computer here's how you go in and do Facebook ads here's how you go in and do this here's how you literally seeing it and doing it that's the kind of thing I would have would have been awesome it's awesome right now but it would have been really awesome at the beginning right. you know to find that kind of a program yeah. and I that's what I would look for because that's what I personally Wanted and needed. Yeah, and what I would um, say to I mean, add to that, um, Wampa is 
you need to really sit down and write out where you think your skills are and where you think you're proficient at. And then you need to find somebody who can fill in those gaps. Like you guys really start, you know, start thinking out of the box, do anything you can. So here, here's something that I, I would do. And um, I, I literally just thought of this. I'm like, let's say, okay, so you didn't have a lot of money to go and um, pay somebody for a, a, a program or, you know, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Start reaching out, um, you know, with with personal messages, whether it's on Facebook, something like that. Um, and say, hey, can I, you know, can I give you like twenty bucks for thirty minutes of your time to just show me how to do this? I, I came across your page, and I know that you're you're doing this, and I, I see that you're making money. Would you be able to help me if I, you know, were to compensate you? Anything like that, <laughs> you know, this is just business, and we're right. building relationships. Um, and who knows, that might be your best friend six months from now. Or somebody you met at a, at a mastermind. And again, that's where getting that face time with people is, is super important. Going to a supercharge or even a home business summit when it's in your area. Just pop in and meet everybody and get get those ideas and those names and say, hey, I see you're doing this. I, I, I know nothing about this. You know, would you help me, you know, um, make, make them an offer? Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's something that you can do in exchange or a barter for, you know, like I, I'm really good with this, um, but I need help with this. So do anything you can. So just really start, um, you know, I, I hope that helps, guys. So any, any of those tips like that. So uh, Mary Jo says, and, and uh, another, go ahead. I was going to say another thing, too, is to pattern after those that are successful. Mm -hmm. And even if that means, in which I have done a lot of, and you probably native, too, mm -hmm. um, sign up for people's email lists. Yep. You know, like John Chow's and, you know, Shakir's and different yep. people's. And see how they're presenting things yep. and how they're yeah. doing things. And even, um, you know, you can even sometimes get purchase somebody's little, you know, front end product yep. just to see how they build their funnel out. Exactly. And how they're marketing and doing things. So yeah. that's another big advice was given to me. And that's what I would really advise is to model mm -hmm. those that are successful rather than trying to struggle through it yourself. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we're all doing. Everyone's doing it, guys. Um, you know, the, the usually the most successful people are, call it reverse engineering, um, seeing what they're doing. Yeah, so, you know, um, sign up for someone's email list. See how you go through the funnel. See how everything is designed. See how everything kind of fits together in the big picture. How they present the offer to you, what copy they're using. What made you buy? Because remember, we're all consumers too. We we made that choice. We took action <laughs> to to get that payment. And I'm I'm the uh, a, you know I'm a perfect example. I love to buy stuff, and I love more information, and I don't need more <laughs> information. But it helps to get into yeah get into a funnel, um, see how they're doing it, write it down, uh, map it out, and then get the help to get it set up, and then um, model it that way. So I, I that should help you uh, with that Mary Jo you know again even to take it a step further look what Mob is doing you know look what Matt has created it's, it's all in Matt's head and it's all coming to fruition in, in a in a very large company now but look at the steps you took when you go through and you decide to sign up for a webinar when you decide to buy stuff and that's what you want to model and that's what you want to replicate okay because it's obviously working because you know you signed up or we signed up or, or, or things like that so um Juan, I don't understand your question. Do you have a link for him or her? Um, if you just want to clarify that for me too. Uh, it says Bridget or Brigitte says, I'm MLR and MOBE. I'm not yet a MOBE affiliate. I pay 67 a month in lead pages and with Aweber. Um, should, I, should I quit lead pages and just join the MOBE affiliates for, and it should be, um, I think you can just do it at 19 a month and do both and see which feels best. Yeah, again, you know, there's there's not a right or wrong answer with that. Um, I'm just going to call you Brigitte. I hope that's fine. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there's not a right or, right or wrong answer with that. It's You have to, again, know what your budget is, know what your limits are, um, and, and, and fill that out. Now, yes, with if you're just needing a, a funnel builder, yeah, you can start with MOB sites. That's a, a you know, if you're just doing simple two-step funnels, meaning uh, – landing page and thank you page so that's a great place to start if you're doing anything more complex than that well it, it's not a bad idea to have more tools in your tool belt think of it like just like that like a mechanic or a, a fisherman the more tools you have um 
might give you more ability to do more things. However, the more tools doesn't mean that you're going to do more things. So just keep that in mind. All right. <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, you mentioned, um, Nancy, you mentioned Sasha as a mentor. Is that name ring a bell? Saj. Sasha. Oh, Saj P. That's Saj P, Juanpa. Saj P. S A J P. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you look up, um, you go to mobmarketplace.com. Hang on. Let me just try this here. I think it's Saj P. Saj P, yeah. No. Um, or let's do this. Just go to Mobe Marketplace. You guys remember as affiliates you can promote this product too so who's to say that you can't build your funnel around any one or, or multiple of these products okay that's another way to get people um you know sell some products that a lot of people aren't so if i go under products here just click the products tab at mobmarketplace.com i'm just gonna search the page um i know what's in here i just saw it the other day it's got a green box. And that's what you did, right, Nancy? You it was through on the webinar and then you Mr. saw what he's doing. On the webinar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. And that um guys, that's that's another a good point too. So again, know what you need what you can and where you're um here it is. Know what you can spend and know how you're gonna budget. You should have a little bit of a budget for education and, and just stick to it, but make sure you're doing actionable information. So it's called uh, Saj P's program. It's called Mob Max Conversion Formula. Okay. Now again, this isn't a this isn't a sales presentation today, guys. But if any of this stuff helps, obviously feel free. Um, just want to give you all the, the tools you might need. Um, so this is the Mob Max Conversion Formula. That's what uh, Nancy you took, right? Right. That's okay. what I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So Bridget says cool. Wampa says okay. Thank you. Okay. I've uh, got a few more minutes, guys. We've got maybe one or two more time for one or two more questions. If you have anything that you want to ask Nancy, um, let's let's throw it in the chat box here. You know, while we're waiting, I can I'll share one last thing. Yeah. And that is, you know, the being a law of attraction life coach and understanding this, mm -hmm. you know, the laws of the universe. Mm -hmm. That really, if you put your thoughts, your vision, your feelings mm -hmm. into and put your creative energy there, what mm -hmm. you want to create while you're dealing with your current circumstances, mm -hmm. then you have a much better chance of achieving your goals. Just put yourself in the the, the place like it's already done. Right. And yeah. every day yeah. you, you say, you know, in a in a present tense, right. this is it's done, but you have to feel it. Mm -hmm. You have to be there, exactly. and then you just keep moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and things just um, start to you know. While you're doing that, you you think it, you you act it, you put things into motion, um, and before you know it, things start presenting themselves as opportunities. And then, because you're in tune, exactly. you're in tune with that mindset. You're more prone to be aware of those opportunities as they present themselves. Okay, so you get yeah, mm -hmm. you know, with with top business people. They're, think of them like just giant sponges with more ability to absorb, let's say, more water. So what they're doing is they're going out there with a dry sponge every day, and they're just really watching and they're paying attention. And what they do is they see an opportunity and they and they pounce on it and they and they take advantage. And that's usually the one of the key differences between people who find success in any business and then those those who don't. So when you have that mindset, you're already aligning yourself to, to be aware of opportunities as they present themselves. And then um, the next step then is to be able to put it into motion, to put it into action. So can I do it myself? Yes or no? No? Okay. Let's find somebody who can help me do it. I mean, would you agree with that? All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And, and so it's a matter of, you think of sports people, many of the top athletes, they'll tell you, that they go, they play their game, they win their game in their head, feeling every muscle, every move right. before they ever go to do it physically. Correct. Yeah, and Bridget, just to clarify, yeah, um, 
So she's saying she signed in at 9.04. Yeah, Unique is, uh, he's now on the, our events team. So he's going, uh, working at the HBS events, IMF events, things like that. So yeah, my name's Nate Rio. I work with Matt Lloyd here at uh, the mobile office in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, I also um, am one of the affiliate managers. So I do the liaison work with um, you guys as partners. So um, yeah, just to wrap up here, guys, and then we got to get going because Matt's going to be jumping on uh, another call here shortly with our webinar account. But um, so yeah, you guys are listening to Elite Earners this week. Uh, obviously, we, we've been speaking with Nancy. Um, here's my information. I'm Nate Rio, Skype Nate.Rio, Facebook.com, the.Nate.Rio, and then Nate.Rio at mobe.com. So yeah, if you guys have ideas or anybody you might want to get on the these calls in the future, um, you know, definitely reach out. Uh, we do want to say a, a huge thank you to Nancy Showalter. Let's put her back up on the screen here. Um, well, thank you for the opportunity. It's yeah, been my absolutely. pleasure. You shared some some good things here. So here's Nancy. And um, guys, again, thanks for tuning in um, to the MOBE Elite Earners call this week. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week with some more information that will uh, help you guys with your business, okay? All right, thanks, Nancy. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys later. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.